Hello everybody. So today we will try to answer the question that what is the use of dynamic inventory in Ansible? Before we can answer the question, let's try to understand what is the architecture of Ansible and while doing so we will also try to see the architecture of Ceph which is almost opposite of Ansible actually and how it impact new inventory addition in the system and most importantly we will try to see why it matters. So uh, broadly there are two type of uh, architecture for any kind of orchestration tools, agent base and non-agent. In one kind of system, there is an agent, a small software installed on your new inventory, your new machine or server or whatever you call it. And then there are another kind of tools where you don't need to install anything on your new nodes or machines. F is in the category where a agent, uh, we call them safe agent, is installed on each and every new in inventory. So actually the client, the safe client, that will be usually our workstation, send instruction to the safe server and then safe server execute those instructions with help of self and safe agent on the targeted servers or machines. If a new inventory needs to be added to this system, that new inventory will be automatically installed with a new safe agent and this safe agent will automatically connect to the safe server and will inform it about its availability and then that's how safe server interact or maintain their inventory. In the Ansible kind of system which are agentless actually, so inventory or the list of machines or nodes uh, Man, uh, are being maintained in normal text files and uh, our workstation we have those files on our workstation and whenever we execute those commands uh, th uh, those commands or those uh, playbooks will take input from those text file and will execute those command uh, on the target machine so there is a problem that in agentless kind of system, how we can add new inventory? Suppose there are five new servers which need to be added to this uh, in a uh, whole uh, system. Then how we will add those inventories? So there are two ways. Number one, we can add. Obviously, we can update the static content or text file, and there is another way which we call dynamic inventory. Most of the time as of today we are using any orchestration tools like okay uh, infrastructure orchestration I, I should say like uh, either you are using a VMware or you are using any open cloud uh, provider or even open stack kind of private cloud provider. So all these uh, kind of uh, platform tools has some kind of APIs and tools through which you can easily check that if there is a new machine or new node added to the system and then even Ansible, uh, especially the Ansible tower which is a commercial product by the way. So that also has a REST API means you can create your agent also if you want to use Ansible in that way. So you can also create some small scripts on your nodes or your machines and that script can directly uh, update the REST API available on the Ansible tower or you can directly use uh, like APIs are available for Amazon Cloud or even Google Cloud. So you can directly uh, fire your script. It will check your um, 
suppose Amazon uh, AWS account and we'll see if there is a new server added to the system and then it can automatically update the inventory on their side. So that's the problem which we try to solve. So in nutshell, the problem which arise because Ansible is not a agent based system, new inventory cannot be added dynamically to our uh, a, a common or central server because there isn't any concept of central server in the Ansible one. But still we want that kind of facility where we can use uh, new added inventory to our system. That's how we use dynamic inventory. And there are many applications, many examples. So we have, you know, as in this one, I have shown you that how uh, you can use uh, AWS for this purpose. Uh, that's all. I think I have answered the question. You can ask supplementary questions in the comment box if you want. Thank you. That's all.